Thank you for using 3D PDF Publish, the 3D PDF enrichment product developed specifically for 3D PDF users. In this short video, you will learn the basics needed to create interactive work instructions. In connection with rich 3D PDF animation processes, you will learn how to create step-by-step -step work instructions for illustrating assembly or disassembly procedures, inspection sign-offs, interactive bill of materials or 3D catalogs for downstream use in manuals, work instructions, design reviews, and more. Let's get started. We will use a pre-existing 3D PDF template for this example. First, access the 3D PDF Publish Editor, which can be found here on the top menu bar or under the Tools panel of Acrobat. To access, click on Start 3D PDF Publish and select the local 3D object. Choose the order of animation or start a new project. If there has never been an animation created, you will need to select Start New. However, an animation has already been included for this example. You will have the option to create instructions in forward or reverse motion, depending on the order in which the animation was created. Since the animation was created as a disassembly, we will edit in reverse order to create an assembly procedure. You have now accessed the 3D PDF Publish Editor. You will have direct access to a Step ID drop-down list showing the steps created in the animation. Select a specific step to jump to and add specific instructions per each step. The Play Control buttons allow you to preview the current step, helping you to determine what to write for the current animation process. They may also help to pinpoint where you are in the animation, especially if there are numerous steps. Descriptions. Use the headline to provide a title for the step. Use the special hint to add a caution message or important key notes. Provide a short description or summary of the step, such as a list of required tools or a brief statement. Also, type in a longer descriptive message explaining the procedure. Preview specific part information. When part attributes have been imported into the editor, you can customize the information displayed in the PDF for each step or have certain part information displayed as the user clicks on an object. Give a title headline and description for the first step. For the disk break, type in a headline such as Step 1. Type in a short description, adding a brief statement or side note. Then, type in a longer detailed description, explaining the procedure for the step. Using the Play Controls or Step ID drop-down menu, jump to the following steps to fill in the remaining step procedures. The editor will automatically remember your information as you move from step to step. In some cases, you may want to highlight the text of a caution note for the current step. For the special hint, enable the text color and change the text to red. Once you have finished adding work instructions to the remaining steps, close the 3D PDF Publish Editor and return to the PDF document. Now add the description fields to the PDF document. When you add the description fields, make sure to select either the panning or selection tools. From the 3D PDF Publish menu, locate and select Add Description Fields. Using your cursor, hover over the top left corner of the area where you wish to place the text field. Left click and select a specific item from the list to place the correct field. Once finished, left click and select Close. Using the Acrobat Select Object tool, reposition and resize each field. Some fields may not fit the default text box size, so you may need to modify the text box size and reposition any misplaced fields. In some cases, you may not wish to include all the description fields, so you can delete any fields deemed unnecessary. In this example, we chose to delete the Step Description name box. You are now finished. 
using the PDF document play controls, run through the animation, and see the frame-by-frame -frame 3D PDF interactive work instructions from start to finish. You are now ready to start using 3D PDF Publish. For more detailed training materials, visit 3dpdfit.com/training.